here's what we're going to be covering in this course. First, we're going to be looking at what Spring Boot is and uh, why we need to use it. As with any technology that I try to learn, the first thing I'm going to ask is why was that technology even created and what is the benefit that I'm going to get out of it? So we're going to be answering both those questions, uh, you know, when we understand what Spring Boot is. Uh, we are then going to be building an end-to-end -end application. Like I mentioned, it's going to be a controller, a data layer, a service layer, everything. We're going to have an end-to-end -end flow and it's going to be a RESTful API that is something we're going to build from the scratch using Spring Boot. The API we're going to build is for a course management system, much like Java Brains. You have topics and uh, you have courses that belong to those topics. So we're going to create a bunch of REST API endpoints. For instance, we start with slash topics. Uh, when we make a GET request, we're going to get a list of all the topics that are in the system. And now I can make a POST request to slash topics and create a new topic. I can make a PUT request to slash topics slash the topic ID in order to update the topic. And I can make a DELETE request to slash topics slash ID to delete that particular topic. We also have courses which belong to topics. So for instance, you can have a, a POST request made to slash topics slash Java slash courses and we make a request uh, which creates a course in the topic of Java. And now if I were to make a get request to slash topic slash Java uh, slash courses, we're going to get that particular course and the topic that it belongs to. And then we can also make the post put and delete request for the course resource as well. So this is the API we're going to be building in this course. And while we build that API, we're going to be looking at some Spring Boot features. What are the things that Spring Boot helps us with when it comes to creating that application? And then finally, we're going to be looking at some configuration and customization options that Spring Boot provides. My goal for this course is when you're done watching this, you should have all the necessary knowledge and information to be able to create a Spring application from the scratch. And I don't mean a simple Hello World application. I mean the complete end-to-end -end API, which has controller all the way to a data tier connecting to the database. And you will have that knowledge and you will have the ability to create that app when you're done watching this course. That's my goal. And hopefully we'll be able to achieve it together. So let's get started with the first question. What is Spring Boot? 